Master Trite, I fetch me the crema. Then, you'll have my permission to continue the game. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another session of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations of Chaos Council. Oh, that was the <laughs> intro. That was the <laughs> intro. Okay. <laughs> it just sounded like a good intro. I was, just, make, I was just making random Bane jokes. Left hand know. or right hand. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. He kept fiddling with it all the time. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup, too. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup, his left hand. Hmm. And all the victim was wearing an unusual monocle over his left eye. He's checking for power levels. It wasn't okay. a monocle, Your Honor. It was a small computer monitor often used by Super Saiyans. <gasps> Freaking, if, if, if they had monitors like that for programmers, mm -hmm. that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Why I'm, don't we? I've been programming a lot this week. Okay. Oh, I, b I believe it. A, a monitor? You mean like a television screen? The inside of the lens of the screen, lens is a screen that displays computer data. It's called HMD. It's a common tool in the victim's line of work. HDTV, DVD, CD. All these newfangled letters drive me mad, but they don't matter. Uh, have you heard I about Blu-ray? I know Blu what I saw, and I'm telling the truth. Have you heard about Blu-ray? What? <laughs> <laughs> that also had letters in it. I don't like it. I don't like letters. It's true. Doesn't seem to be lying. And those are the facts in good old black and white. Um, even black and white TV should be outdated Fuck for you. you. <laughs> Hmm. Don't mind me, I was just singing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Objection! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm not sure what the relevance of this is, but... Mr. Kudo, there is something very strange about your observations of the victim. What? No, wait, seriously, what? I can't hear you. <laughs> You say he was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the HMD. No question, you can lock me up if I'm wrong. It was his left ear without a doubt. I could only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. I don't think so. What did you say? I, I couldn't hear you, what? You're no doubt unaware of this fact, Mr. Kudo. But the victim couldn't hear with his left ear. His ear drum... Hear drum, yes. Yes, yes. His hear drum was ruptured. <laughs> eh? He lost it during the war between the Unfettersy and the Cunion. Oh! I remember those days! <laughs> Better. Traces of medication for his condition were found in his ear canal. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna point this out, but um, the actual picture we have does have the thing on the left ear. So. I mean, like, the witness's picture! That we just presented. No, the, the HDMI, yeah, it's on the left ear, but the earpiece is in his right oh, ear. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, they're, we're talking about his headphone. That's right. It's impossible that the victim was wearing his earpiece in his left ear. Because he couldn't even hear it in that ear. Is that true, Captain? It is. Pretty pigeon! Pretty pigeon! <laughs> I'm sorry! That was amazing! <laughs> Especially my swinging arm! Yes! I've got nothing to add to that. That was fucking weird. <laughs> I sang the pigeon song! This witness's testimony is completely <coughs> unreliable. He only saw the witness from behind. And he claims the victim was wearing an earpiece when we know his eardrum was ruptured. Well, Mr. Godot? A single drop of milk it all is all it takes to destroy the pure black magic of coffee. You need therapy. <laughs> well, you should have changed the channel's name, mister. I mean, counseling, oh, I mean, counseling in some countries are like... Not, it's the same. It's pretty much... Counseling and therapy is similar. It's, it's like, you gotta find a counselor, you gotta find a therapist. It's so hard finding keywords because they are interchangeable sometimes. I know. Anyway, sorry. This old man... Is actually being voiced by a woman. What? It's my drop of milk. Thank you? <laughs> Captain, are you calling me a drip? 
Yes. What does that even mean? It, don't you remember the old, like, you, oh, they're such a drip, it's kind of like... It's an old what? insult. It's, almost, it's an outdated it's an insult one. Yeah, okay. From, like, um, you'd hear it a lot in, like, uh, movies. I think they've used that term in Greece sometimes. Okay. This is the victim's coffee cup in which the potassium <laughs> cyanide... <laughs> Same. Same. This is the victim's coffee cup in which the potassium cyanide was found. Banana cyanide. Yay! The mark of the rim clearly shows that the victim <laughs> picked it up with his right hand. Sorry. You know, potassium cyanide is like everyone knows it's such a deadly and kind of grim poison. But as soon as you start calling it fucking banana cyanide, <laughs> cyanide all I can picture is this bag with a giant, like, cartoony, blushing, happy face. <laughs> and so it's just like, here, you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> I've never oh, heard of please. potassium cyanide before. This just hydrogen cyanide. Um, potassium cyanide is, it's usually, people just say cyanide. Mm, fair but enough. But it's usually more, than not, more often than not potassium cyanide. I, I have an image of, it's a dark room. <laughs> there's like a single table and a, there's a person sitting there. Like with the light shining down, and there's another person that walks in, you can barely see the light on their face, and they're like, Does this look familiar? And they drop a bunch of bananas <laughs> yeah. on what? the table. And, then Kermit, and they're like, You can't make me talk! <laughs> and then Kermit rises from beneath the table. Yay! <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, we're here to interrogate you. Yay! <laughs> you know, they call it b banana cyanide, but people like bananas. Well, shouldn't it be called grapefruit cyanide? <laughs> I'll never back down. I know I'm right. Or Brussels sprout cyanide. <laughs> no, I drank his Java Cheeto with his left hand. Let me put you out of your misery. With banana cyanide. <laughs> I don't want none of that. We both know I'm going to have to kill you now. <laughs> Clearly the victim used both hands. <laughs> he took a sip with the cup held in his right hand and then switched to his left hand like some ambidextrous hipster. <laughs> I don't know what hipsters and ambidextrous people have in common, so I'm just going to move on because I'm not digging myself out of that one. Nope. You, know, you're, you basically have lived in a hole for a while now. <laughs> Sorry. I love you, honey. <laughs> we both know I'm going oh, to... Oh, shit. I think I'm going to stop this joke now before I break the apartment. <laughs> Things are falling. That was what the old man saw. Impossible. The witness has already testified on numerous occasions that the victim died immediately after taking just one sip of the coffee. Objection. Um, Godot had way too much coffee. <laughs> He's gone to take a bathroom break. He told us keep going. So, so here we go. Could you let's take talk Godot, loudly please? just in case I can. Which, which hand the victim... Wow, I wasn't talking this whole time to say a voice. So getting into it is like, wait, oh, how wait. Do I hmm, okay. Which hand the victim used to pick up his cup is irrelevant, your honor. Oh, jeez. The facts still stand. With one hand or the other, Mr. Elk drank the poisoned coffee. Like this! <laughs> you demonstrate, you... Sadly, Mr. Godot, that doesn't wash. The point of this testimony was to establish whether the witness's memory was credible. And the results are clear. <laughs> the testimony given by this witness is useless. <laughs> I love just Godot's sprite in general. It makes me so yeah. happy. I believe it is time to conclude today's proceedings. The judge also was sharing coffee with Godot, as per usual. <laughs> and he had to leave, too. I am satisfied that the witness is not deceiving the court. To be, but to be frank, this testimony is a farce. D did you have to be so frank? Take that, you pup is so funny! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, you can't reach me from there! <laughs> <laughs> I am up here! And you are down there! <laughs> I'm ordering the defense and the prosecution to investigate this case further. That is all for now. This court is adjourned. Hold it! I was going to say I'm that. I'm pretty sure that's me. Hello. Wait. I was going to say that ended way too If we me. stop now, where does that leave me? Leave you, Mr. Kudo? Thanks to that blue shooting young upstart over there. I'm just a bubbling old man who can't even dot his T's or cross his eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> 
How is your bad memory my fault? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but there's nothing I can do. I kept my mouth shut until now. But there's something else the court should know. What? Stop. <laughs> there's more? To be perfectly honest, it might not be any. <coughs> but I want another chance! I want another crack at you, you young shark! Me? It's looking at me like I'm some sort of evil shogun. Well, everyone, what do you say to one final showdown? The final chapter in this eccentric old man's scrapbook! Then does that mean you're going to die afterwards? Yes! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just right on the stage. <laughs> Just collapses around the stage. It's like, I fulfilled my purpose! I'm coming, mama! <laughs> Like, gently, like, puts himself down and just sleeps, <laughs> and then he just doesn't get back up. <laughs> Everyone's like, uh... Oh, Bailiff, what do we do? Sorry, Gramps. <clears throat> I've already had my 17th cup of coffee. Copy? Copy. Yeah. yeah. Copy. Why have you got to lose, Captain? I'll give you all the Javachino you want if you come to my house after the trial. I may be 68 years old, but Victor Kudo is still a man! That's enough, witness. I believe it will be quicker for the court to just hear your testimony. You bet! Much, much quicker! <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> you better get ready, youngster! I get the picture. Just quit throwing those seeds at me, would you? <laughs> gotta be using some sort of infinite <coughs> ammo code with that box of seeds. She knows! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she knows. First of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure of myself. The young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino. Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase. He knocked it right over. It broke, and the strip of cloth covering the table got completely soaked. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? <laughs> Uh, well? Uh... Um, is that all? Yes, that's all. I remember it perfectly. Good night. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> hey, you're doubting me again? You're doubting a poor, defenseless old man? No, we are not doubting you, Mr. Kudo. Don't you get the feeling there's a question hanging on everyone's lips, Nick? Yeah. So what? Probably. That's all I can think that, of. Oh, excuse that's me. That's all I can think of. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I have to cross-examine this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eat your game. You're a bird brain. That's why all you can think of. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your final cross-examination, please. Oh, it'll be my final one. <sighs> then I can die after this. <laughs> Not before me, bastard! <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Oh, Holy shit! Oh my God. <laughs> Maya, oh, fuck. Let me just channel him to finish this up. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no! No, Maya! <laughs> Hope your neighbors don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> if they do. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Yet so far. Hmm. Think. Think. I have an idea of what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Okay. Mr. Kudo, this is a photograph of the crime scene. <laughs> so what? Look carefully at the table. The vase is there, intact. Huh? Lost your tongue, Granddad? I'm no granddad of yours, Hopscotch! <laughs> Enough! If you throw any more seeds in this courtroom, the cleaners will be here all night! <laughs> what is it now? I just remembered something! Y yes? I Go left the stove on. on. <laughs> the broken vase! It was on my table! <sighs> uh, well, you see... It started, startled me when that young lad collapsed. So I stood up. That must have been when it fell over. The vase on my table, I mean. The vase on your table? <laughs> yes, it was on my table. And that's how my groin came to be completely soaked. Oh. Oh, oh. No, that oh. actually probably was the reason. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, good so. cover up there, sir. Good cover up. I bet he's a sweet old man. <laughs> he probably is, and here we are being assholes. Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. <laughs> you don't have a drum set. I'm so sorry. I'm sure I did the boom. <laughs> During that dead silence, just throw that in there. I, like, might, really I, I hope I can find it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really pathetic version. <laughs> uh, I'd like to ask a question now. Have I uh, have I been any use at all? No. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Goodbye, cool world. Oh no. This is what happens. I get to see my mom and dad. This is how, what happens when college kids are by their <laughs> So, yep. When it's n- near the end and there's finals. So this isn't January, but when we're recording this, we're still in finals. Yeah. We did it though. Except, when this episode except comes except out. Except for me. No, when this episode comes out, we have we will. Yeah, have we all have done, done it. it. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of us, guys. <laughs> Judge. Okay. Judge, you may. And welcome back. Perhaps that's something you should reflect on yourself, Mr. Kudo. Ah, wait, wait a minute. If that's the case, there's more. I've got more to say. Oh dear. Oh, yes, I remember something else. Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. No, wait, listen to me. <coughs> Bless your soul. Thank you. I am currently a dice, so. though. Right. Yeah, man, it seems we've been considerably sidetracked. I'm still out in the position to deliver a verdict. <coughs> I'm okay. The defendant okay. has not been positively identified as the waitress in question. Additionally, there are two dis- uh, Disparities, Disparities in yep. the testimony we've heard thus far. The mark on the coffee cup that the victim supposedly drank from with his left hand. And the earpiece, which was inserted into his left ear, out of which he couldn't hear. Wow, Nick! You did it! Therefore, I require both the defense and the prosecution to further investigate the facts. Yes, Your Honor. There's one more thing before I call today's session to an end. One more thing, your honor. The witness we just heard from. He's the mo- he's- he's most insistent that his testimony should be of use. So he summarized it accordingly into this statement. Aww. Uh, How nice of him. Okay. Uh, you may each have a copy of it if you wish. Whatever. The prosecution doesn't need props like that. Kato's really mad, huh? Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> that mm, very well. Here you are then, Mr. Wright. There are three copies: my own, yours, and Mr. Kudo's. <laughs> oh. Yes, Your Honor. Victor's testimony entered the court record. I'm sorry. This isn't a piece of testimony; more like a five-year-old's ap- apology. <laughs> what the heck are we supposed to do with three copies? That's it. That is all. The court is adjourned. Woo. And to that is an episode. Alrighty, we will see you guys in investigation day three. Yeah. Bye! Bye!